Hey friends, it's Ifa and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna set up my November bullet journal. I wanted to make a theme like junk journals for a while. I don't want a lot of craft materials or ephemera so I have decided to use this stuff that I already have. It's gonna be my first time filming without any proper planning for a whole theme and start with a little knowledge about junk journals. Before starting this theme, let's do a quick flip through for my October bullet journal setup. I really love this theme but couldn't use it properly. Many spaces are left empty because of my illness. This can be a reason for my inactivity here too. I couldn't find much time to create new videos. But I committed to myself to be more productive on November. The inspiration for this theme came from the Suki Flutter and Dream collection by Notebook Therapy. They kindly gifted me this collection a while ago and I couldn't resist myself to use it in my November setup. I've posted a full ASMR unboxing video on my Instagram account. I'll link it down below. Watch this if you're interested to see the whole collection. Also, if you want to buy anything from their shop, Use my affiliate code TRIDIVAS10 for 10% off. In addition, I might use these washi tapes from the washi tape shop. I have a discount code for their products too. Use TRIDIVAS10 in the checkout. You'll get 10% off without any hidden charges. Let's begin with my cover page. I'm highly inspired by UniRights on Instagram. Thanks to her for inspiring me for the cover page. Otherwise, I would make something simple and hate it later. I'm using a large craft paper that can cover the whole page. I'm cutting with a sharp precision knife to make a hole so that I can rip it by hand. I'm making a large centered oval shape and ripping it until I'm satisfied with the result. I'm using a newspaper and lighter craft paper from an envelope to add some texture and colors. My target is to add just the paper behind the hole abstractly but leaving a good space for the title. I'm using a strip of double sided tapes and glue stick to secure the papers with the large craft paper. There is no problem if I leave any extras because ultimately they'll be hidden and will give some chunkiness to this cover page. I made sure everything looks fine before sticking the craft paper into my bojo. I'm using double sided tapes because from my experience I can tell glow sticks are not sticky enough. When it's nice and secure I've got all the excess. For decorating the spread I'm using the stamps from Suki Flutter and Dream collection. They have some gorgeous butterflies themed stamps. I'm using black ink pad for the stamps. I was tense while stamping the title because I always mess up with the alphabet stamps. I can't use a lot of spaces for it. It has to be centered and should follow a straight line. These all were going in my mind at the time. Luckily, it turned out really good. The washi tapes has three washes with transparent background. They made it with PT materials, I guess, which is my favorite. I'm gonna stick the butterflies half in the craft paper and another half will be floating. I'm using the tracing paper or film paper for the floating effect. Otherwise, it will be stuck with the inner craft pages, which won't look good at all. 
I've tried to cut the wings as much as possible. Some can be visible a little, but it doesn't look bad, right? I'm using a Tombow Photo Skehar tip brush pen to draw out some branches. I didn't have planned to make a full butterfly theme at first, but it turned out that way. I really love these gold gilded butterflies with all those little dots on it and are really satisfied with the cover page. It's just finished in one go. <laughs> Next is my monthly calendar spread. I love using one page monthly log rather than double pages. I stopped using double page calendars because at the end of the month it seems I don't use it at all. I think I should cut off the squares that I don't use because bullet journal is all about your preference and satisfaction. From this spread to the very last spread you'll see me decorating and redecorating the whole thing. I was so disappointed while making this theme. I'm not painting or drawing much stuff here, but I ended up with three and a half hours of clips. I wanted to crop the unnecessary things, but I couldn't crop them. I wanted to be more transparent to you guys. It takes time to learn something new and it's very normal. The full video is already 7 minutes long and I'm crossing my fingers if you'll stick with me or not. If you're still there, comment with the butterfly emoji. I appreciate your support a lot. My voice can be sound very weird right now because I'm still ill and have breathing problems so I apologize for my voice. For the next spread, I'm drawing two boxes for my monthly to-dos and goals. Dash lines look kinda cool, it's like run stitches. If you know about knitting on clothes, you'll get what I'm talking about. It's kinda like I'm stretching with the yarn on the paper. I'm crushing the paper for more texture into it. I definitely love it. I love the tag I made, but unfortunately, I placed the G letter wrong. I don't like the spread after gathering too much things. On one side, I have the tag, and then the washi tapes and floating butterflies all are looking such a mess. So I have decided to decorate it with a few elements. I must practice more with junk journal style. I love it but I don't have any idea how can I make it pretty. I don't like my monthly log header and cover it with a small piece of paper before moving to my next spread. Besides my goals, I'm gonna make my workout and daily routine spread. Looking at the stamps washes, I thought it would be great if I go with envelopes. Later I felt it'll be overwhelming so I drew some boxes like envelopes and stamped on them.
in my next spread I'm making these three basic trackers all together. These boxes are for my habit tracker, mood tracker and sleep tracker. For the decoration, I've made a tag with the craft paper. This tag idea is inspired by my friend Vivian from Monday Morning Designs. If you don't know how this layout works, then let me explain. It's very simple, I've written all the days horizontally, that works for all of my trackers. I'll track my habit with a bullet. I've convinced myself to track my mood again. I tracked them last in June and then stopped tracking them. I don't know why mood trackers don't work for me. Let's see whether I like it this month or not. I guess I'll go with the graph for the mood and bar chart for sleepers. I'll post an updated picture later on my Instagram. You'll find me as Tradipas there. I wanted to add a yarn with a tag but couldn't find any of them besides my table and ended up using this ribbon. Also, I'm securing the ends with double-sided tapes. Next is my thoughts or brain dump page. I write most of my thoughts and scribble my contents in this spread. I want to make a simple collage for the center. I'm using a paper to block the stamping where I don't want it. For dashed lines, I'm using an acrylic paint pen. You'll find all of my supplies in the description below. I don't like this monoline lettering so I'm using a cutout from this journal to cut it up. These are the excess paper from my Dutch drawer from previous month's setup. I store all of them in the back pocket. For my counter planner I'm going with the same horizontal layout but this time I've placed in the middle column and I haven't added any trackers. I forgot to mention that I'm using this only tumble dual brush pen for coloring. Actually the wash tapes are going to fill the other colors for me. It's time for my first weekly spread from November. I was confused about the layout. I usually try to add 7 days a week. This time I'm going with 6 but I'll cover the extra days with the next one. Funnest part is here. I wasn't conscious enough and started from 30 which should be 31 and then I wrote 31 to 35 instead of 1 to 5. The next day all of a sudden I remembered I made these mistakes and I laughed so hard. It was so funny and two days later I've decided to correct this and touch up all of these spreads. I don't want to end up feeling bad about this theme because I don't like this at all. This theme won't make me open my butcher again, I, I can feel it right now. Anyways, if you are still there, please leave me an emoji with a clap or thumbs up. We have made it to the very end. Thank you guys for sticking with me. 
i hope you like this setup if you do please don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video bye